Hi guys, it's Joseph Lindsay again, and for this video that's dedicated to Agency Month in 2024, I would like to talk about a very special music video today called <clears throat> She Could Look by The Rock Sets. Now, I should tell you that this is not a, this is not the standard version of the song. It's by it's remixed by DJ Kakuts. That is DJ and K A K T U Z, and uh, it's very quick. It's very um, it's got very um, interesting uh, synth pop to it. It's more or less like um, the beginning part of it, more like a like a fantasy thing. Like it's, I can't really describe it too well in in uh, in terms of uh, musicality, but I will put it into a. Uh, the link below the description below. I'll put the link in the, in the description below so you guys get the idea of what I'm saying. Because it's got no actual sound to it that has anything to do with music that I've heard before. It's that unique. Anyway, this song is, um, in the beginning, it's not like it's, um, like it's. Bending steel, steel. If that means that means anything to you, and it sounds like it's um, toward the end of the song. It's got more of a like a rapid fire type machine gun type sound to it. So it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's so it sounds more like violin strings if you do like. Really high pitch type sounds of it, sound of that. And the song itself is more of a sped up version of the actual song by the rock, by the rockets, by the rock sets, to say. So, <clears throat> now before I get into the, the music video portion of it, let me talk about some of the lyrics, okay? This is a song about, about made during the 80s, of which I'm part of, I'm part of the 80s, and, um, yeah, it was really, really funny that people called, didn't know how old I was when I went to Newport a few years ago, but whatever, so, <clears throat> you might be seeing yourself, um, you know, what did that do anything? Well, turns out that this is like a, this song is more based on women appearances. She got the look, is a reference to a, a model type person, a drop dead gorgeous woman. Whatever you, whatever you uh, think of as a, a gorgeous person, you know, an attractive person. But they be big they are big whatever else, tall, um, blonde, brunette, whatever have you. And it said that she tastes she tastes like raindrops. I have no idea what that means, but it it sounds good. And uh it said that she's a, it's a miracle man. What do you think that I would be original name for my first book until I realized that Marvel had like a copyright on it so I, I couldn't use it without any copyright issues. <clears throat> and um, uh, the song is so great. So, and you might ask yourself, what did this have to do with Asian history, man? What 
Why do you have to involve the beat your song based, based on looks and appearances on the, on the actual on aging history month? Why didn't you do it any other month of the year? Well, that's pretty easy to, to understand because there are uh, a bunch of women doing dance routine and exercise. You, you might think it, it, it's yoga, but I know that it's more of a jazz exercise with, with leg warmers in the form of a, <clears throat> in the form of knee high socks and sneakers, and also with the uh, one piece uh, bathing suit tops. So, yeah, um, jazz exercise was a very popular thing for with mostly women in the eighties, possibly the nineties, that they would really excite the music and stuff. So it was like you'd be nice. And um <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry if I went but on the lyrics a little bit, but um the lyrics were a little bit too um fast for me to hear properly. So, when I eventually do the, the bass song for this, I'll listen pro more properly, but it was a little too fast for my taste. In that regard, I'll, I'll listen most to the beat and the rhythm, which is awesome. And uh, it's only two, four, two minutes and four seconds long, so take that for what you will. But, um, <clears throat> Back to the women, love of the years. Now, it may be that this is a song mostly about their butts. Okay, there's no, there's no two, two ways about it. No, no butts about it. But, um, what did this have to do with Asian History Month? Well, it's pretty easy to, to, to figure out. Because, of all of the dozen, the dozen or so women in there, which are all beautiful, mind you, it just so happens that there's one Asian person in the whole bunch. Now, why did you decide to pick on one Asian person to represent all minority people? I have no idea why. I mean, they could easily put various people in there, they could put like, for example, black women there, Spanish women there, uh, or Latina if you prefer, or uh, they could put like a you know, Native American women in there, for example, or they could put other age women in there. But they had to pick just one, just one woman in there to be a talking person in there with non white. <laughs> and let me just say that. Okay, besides my favoritism of Asian women and stuff like that, I will say that she's the best one in the whole bunch. And hear me out. You see everyone over there shaking their asses, if you will. But she's, um, she's giving a whole, whole doing the same moves that everyone else is doing and being very happy about it. Now, whenever the Asian, the Asian woman smiles in this, it's like um, my, my heart melts. That, that's a personal choice. But it melts. Because it's so rare that I see an Asian woman actually smile at me. So soon me. Or it's so rare for any woman to smile at me. Period. So anyway. My my peer my peer movie when she uh she uh, does her foot foot twirl and then she moves like over and she smiles at the camera on a Christmas red vest a sweater vest and uh she does a, she does like a faux chest bump to some else too but besides that she's over there. Shaking her uh, assets, 
memoir is he, the, the very big difference between aging women and white women, most notably in the buttocks, in the breast area, the general build, the hair color, the, the facial structure, and the height, which, which, um, I, I, I like the, the minority of, of this, I like the minority of the fact that she's the one person out of a whole bunch that's got her features. Now, I will say that she's probably either Chinese or Filipino, because I mean Filipina because of her mix because of her darker skin and you, you, you if you know what to look for you can definitely tell that the Asian woman there doing her dances and stuff and then you the, the women over there doing their sex and their butts and doing splits but for the most part, she, in most of the scenes, in most of the scenes, which I got, I got from the great when I thought that, because it can't be easy being the only person that uh, really sticks up the whole thumb. Now, um, I would like to know the name of the, the name of the dancer that is performing this. Anyway, um, it's really, really impressive. I, w I will talk more about this, this type of thing on uh, when talk about anime. Because I do have some interesting things to say about that. But, uh, yeah, they, they, they shake their butts, they do like a little push up in which they yeah, shake their butts side to side, too. I mean, the entire thing is like basically a big butt show, more so than uh, Rihanna's uh, Shep and Drive music video. So yeah, they, they also show, um, <clears throat> they also show the women doing the splits, and they also have this part where they have, um, two two white women and oh, Asian one doing like um how do you put it how do you put this uh more of like um like uh the, the main three they show them all three together doing choreography together and it's awesome you know they really look like they're real friends all, all, all girls I especially like at the end where when the when the music goes into like um like rapid fire like a machine gun and then they show the women it looks like they're trying to hunt hunt the wall. It's very funny. Uh, obviously they don't do it for sexual reasons, doing it to bounce the boys up there, up and down, up and down. And it's real funny because in the, in the video, I don't know if it's part of the movie or, or whatever, but they yeah, have a picture of a dog that looks like a guy hit sitting out the window of a car with goggles on, and the wind is blowing in, each, in, the, in the face, like in its face, like um, it's so blown away by seeing all these bouncing bruises everywhere. It's amazing by it. Is that or the, the twin empire that these women are falling in its face? So that's, that's very kind of funny and charming at the same time. More, more kind of gross if you think about the latter one. But, um, yeah. I, I definitely would say that, um, this is one of the better remakes of you know, the E songs. Look at the rock set, are uh, really good. And the song is the, the movie. And yeah, 
No, uh, I do. I do find it really charming and funny and teen. It's a it's a good song to get you pumped up to the gym. Even if you don't, you, it's really a big song too, with the, with the women in it, especially, especially because they got so much, um, it's so, um, blessed, if you will, with various stuff. And the limber too, they can just look and stuff, which, to be honest, I, I can't do that. I can't do half the stuff they do in the head. So, I absolutely go for doing that anyway. And you know, if you have cut of the video in which they do, uh, like, uh, I don't know, like 30 seconds of it, whatnot, but that's not fun. I want to see the whole thing, I want to get the whole song in there. So yeah, um, very impressive, very, very well done, very, yeah, very nice, very, yeah, scintillating, and, and I can't believe that they actually do the, the dance moves, not only in sneakers, but in heels too. I would imagine that doing it in like four inch heels would be murder, so. I, uh, I think about it, everyone that does the type of stuff for, for, um, for, you know, for, uh, living in funsies. You know, it can't be easy to dance that in heels, let alone sneakers. You know, um, <clears throat> I, this, uh, this, this thing is quite nice because of, with the dance moves that the women act to perform and with the, you know, sling around and with the, you know, twirling around on top, on the, on the ground, the swimsuit must be either skin tight or they must be glued to the body because otherwise something will come out. And I don't want to be gross or anything, but I don't want that to happen. I really don't want anything like that happen because it's, well, this, this song, this video could be shown to any, anybody, you know, changes in the book, because, um, there's really nothing that bad about it, it's just, just women doing exercises in, in a one seat, in a, in, in a choreographed fashion, which, by the way, Great job with the choreography. Every woman does a wonderful, does a good job, except for I think one part, one thing where where one of the women is um a little bit late to turn to turn around and uh, doing in the beginning of the, the video. But uh, yeah, I thank you, I thank you for watching. This is you on the She's Got the Look remix by um, DJ Cat Cat Goose by the, the original performance of the box set. The box set. Box sets. And uh, it's no girl band. Uh, and uh, it's real cool. It's real good that they bring these the type of things for from the idiot back for young, young people nowadays. Lord, they probably wouldn't know what, what the hell it is. And for this video and song, I give it my happy face seal of approval and help. For the aging woman that's involved in this, I, g I give her a separate happy, happy face to you because she's so awesome and she's so brave for doing that when there's no other performers that have her appearance. 
you know, everyone else with the career, last year, and whatever. So, I, yeah, I, give, I give a lot more credit for those people that don't, um, that are like the, um, underdog or the token person. Because we change the garbage. And, uh, you know, you gotta have a mixed, um, mixed amount of them. You can't have just one beauty thing. You have to have all, all people being beautiful. So it would be nice to have a little more, uh, a little bit more, uh, diversity. That's what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> but I keep my life when I begin to break. He'd be like me and like at the gym who's also in the wheelchair. Being the only two members of the gym that are in wheelchairs. Like we pretty much send it like full thumbs until we start normally in the gym inside to interact with people and the staff and the equipment and all that. So yeah, it's kinda like a, a normal thing, a normal thing for us. That we act, that we are treated same as in bells. Just like this young woman, she's a stick to look for fun because of ethnicity, but she don't care. She's still having fun with it. She's still smiling. She's still we're we're gonna a little bit off with it. I gotta, I gotta give her crap for that. So yeah. If you like what you see here and you want to see more of my, my videos and, and such, you can always like, comment, and share. And more importantly, subscribe to my channel. If you want to con contact me for any future things to do with my videos and thoughts, using the, um, <coughs> using my Cell phone number at 631-707-3707 It's called or texting my phone number Also you can contact me at my Twitter at Pete Nelson Pro on Twitter what actually you prefer it Also my, e my email is JJ's Viewing Channel at gmail.com So remember guys I anyone that has that accepts women for who they are and for whatever it's the level of body type they might have or in terms of level they might have <clears throat> and I, I, I accept women for who they are and that the smart over their bodies and whatnot. You should too. So, peace out, my brothers and sisters. Aloha.